I'm gonna show you how to do a conventional deadlift. So you're gonna use a kettlebell, place the kettlebell between the arches of your feet. You're gonna place your fit, feet just a little bit wider than hips distance. Now everyone is a little bit different depending on your mobility, but a little bit of, uh, wider than your hips distance is a good place to start with your toes slightly turned out. Now, that bell is pointed forward, the horn, this handle is in line with my ankle bone. So if you were to come to the side of me, you wouldn't be able to see the handle of the bell because it'd be hidden by my shins. Now, to start this deadlift, I think about pushing my butt back and reaching to maybe a car door behind me. So I soften my knees as I send my hips back, I keep pushing back, and then once I can't go anymore, I'll stop there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of the kettlebell. If in this position, your weight is leaning forward into your toes, you wanna think about dropping your hips and putting the weight back into your heels. Now, if you'll notice, I have a straight line from the crown of my head all the way to my tailbone. All right, you wanna make sure that you're not in this position. So think about sort of opening up your chest. When you grab a hold of the kettlebell handle, you wanna imagine that you're breaking that handle. All right, so hand on the kettlebell, I'll drop my hips, shoulders away from those ears, I'm breaking that handle, I'm pushing into the floor. When I'm ready in this position, all I'm gonna do is exhale, push through the floor, stand up nice and tall. Now, a lot of times people end up arching back at this top position. I don't want you to do that. I want you to think about locking your legs out and imagining that you're in a standing plank position. So shoulders should be stacked over your hips, hips should be stacked over those knees, knees over ankles. Now, to take the bell back down, you're gonna start that hinge. The bell's gonna travel one straight line down right next to those legs as I go back. So my hips go back, the bell travels down. What I don't let happen is the bell get away from me. So push those shoulders down, grip the bell tight, push your hips away from the bell, lower and come right back to that deadlift position. You know, something that's really helpful is placing a line on the ground, something in front, possibly either a dumbbell or another kettlebell, so that you place that bell in the same position every single time. If you find yourself coming on top of the bell, you know that you're not actually shifting your hips back far enough into that deadlift. So go ahead and practice that movement. Make sure to keep your core nice and tight and find that straight spine position. Use your legs. I'll see you soon.